Welcome back, you beautiful people. I have found the solution to all your problems when you're learning to do the manual or the wheelie. You kind of lose power and it hurts a little bit. Yes, the manual machine works and I have built one, but this is the evolution of that. And it's got motion involved. And it's on the back of my bike. Look at this thing. This is the manual bar, the wheelie bar, the anti loopa bar. I'm gonna build this in my garage and I'm gonna ride it and test it. It is good actually, really good. It actually works. Okay, we've worked out the angle, written it all down, kinda, but let me talk about the materials I'm gonna be using for this build. So for the back where the wheel is gonna hit, where basically the stand's gonna hit the ground and stop you from looping out, I'm gonna put these wheels on there. These are your generic scooter wheels with ABEC 9 bearings. I've got some miscellaneous bits of tubing here for bits and bobs that I'm gonna need. My box of treasures, nuts and bolts and some plates, some flat plate. But this is gonna be the main part of the structure. I'm using this 14 mm it's basically mild steel tubing. It's seamed, so uh, it's basically the same stuff I use on the crab. I built a bike in my garage, this garage, using mild steel. These are actually the offcuts from that. It's actually quite heavy, but it's gonna be quite strong. Um, there we go, and I've, I've got it. And it's now time to start cutting and creating my monster, my Franken wheelie bar. Frankly, I hope it works. Right, cut them. They're gonna be the bottom legs. The top ones are gonna be 120, but I've only got four meters of this stuff. So that's two meters. Should have ordered more steel, but anyway. Right, so I'm gonna measure the back hub. This is a guesstimate, because I can actually just bend it in. 18, so the gap here should be 18 there. Now I got two wheels, but I feel like I'm gonna use one, because if I start to move on the back, I want it to basically move on this, so I don't feel like I'm stuck there. Which actually might be a good thing. No, I'm gonna go with one. So I'm gonna have one wheel round about there like that, and that's gonna stop me from <laughs> whacking my head and turning blue and <laughs> noise. <laughs> that is gonna go there, somewhere like that, and that will go up to the seat stay, and I'm gonna work out somehow clamping it to my seat stay without crushing it. It looks like a drag racing vehicle. What? Do this. Well, it actually tells you on here. So I was going for 180 mil. The length of the spindle is 174, so I was pretty close. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. Threaded bar goes all the way through. It's basically just gonna clamp the frame or squeeze the frame down onto the hub and it's gonna be strong. I gotta show you this. Duck on the bike. Mum and dad bought this for me for my birthday. I thought, oh, it's perfect. The boys love it. It's a bit of fun. <laughs> Look at that! Freaking airhead, dude! It'd be cool if it took off, but it doesn't. It is quite funny. I quite like it. It's made out of metal. Look at him. He lives in his box, so he doesn't fade away. Anyway, he lives up there. Duck on a bike. The decoration there, no, this is not a toy. <laughs> it's not, it's not a toy, it's for adults. <laughs> I don't know why mum got it for me, I'm not an adult. <laughs> Okay, these, got two of them. 
I'm going to cut a little groove in here and then I'm going to place these in there so I can weld them in. These are basically going to be my mounts for the axle for this wheel right here. And then we've got kind of a fixed area zone for that. Then I'm going to brace here, but I need to make sure it's the right length. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> wow. Look, making. <laughs> and I've got peanut butter all over me. Go to mommy. You scared. Bye bye. Peanut butter. Oh. Peanut butter, jelly time. Peanut butter, jelly time. Peanut butter, jelly time. Look at this box. <laughs> oh, I love this box. I'm slowly collecting nuts and bolts and bits of what, like washes, and this gives me goosebumps. Look, goosebumps. A pin goosebumps. I'm weird, aren't I? I'm weird. I've made my little chamfered spaces things. This guy goes on there, like that. And they spread eagle, like that. Let's do a nylock. This actually works up quite perfect, the spacing. Needs to be 180 or 174 is the length of that. Oh, those ABEC 9s. Those ABEC 9s, dude. Oh. <laughs> Man, I like working with steel when it works for you. <laughs> Right, <laughs> that goes on there. I'm gonna make that sort of Michigana. That is there like that. Put a brace to there. But I think I'm gonna do this last because if I do this now, it, it'll stiffen it up. I quite like that. That actually looks really good. Looks good. Wheelbarrow. <laughs> anyway. Nothing you've made has failed on the welds yet. Shh, Nick, don't say that now. This is where it loops out and I turn blue. And I go, Ooh. I have learnt a bit more about welding. Don't rush it and uh, just concentrate. It, it's, it's gonna work. And what's actually filled me with confidence is racing the crab. That has definitely filled me with confidence on my welding because I raced a bike I made in this garage and it didn't break. And I was very scared for my life the whole day. And it's all right. I, I, I live to tell the tale. Definitely needs to move over that way, man. It's looking quite choppery. It's definitely looking choppery, dude. Look at it, that is next generation of manual machine and then just just to get the eye in that one's going to go to there and to there i think it's going to work i think it's going to work look at that <laughs> My poor scalp goes through hell. It's the perfect bike for it. Has anyone seen a wheelie bar on a bicycle? Probably, but to be honest, I haven't seen it in my eyes, really. Are you stupid for doing this then? I think I am stupid for doing this. Oh, I need to cut that and scratch in the frame. So I need to grind that. <laughs> That's, it's not strong. But it looks like a dragster. It does need a shift over this way a little bit. It's a bit not in the middle. You get the flashbacks of the crab. <laughs> yeah. And weirdly it always it's to the left. Right. Now we need a set. 
the wheelie bar. I feel like that's too high. Now from the wheelie mach the manual machine, that, that is definitely a, a catch to loop out. So I thought that this is like the perfect angle of the manual. At this point, that there, be like the nine o'clock boys. Like full. Do you know what? I might go to the extreme. <laughs> because your weight will be way over it, Yeah, the, the weight will be too much, I reckon. Yeah. I feel like it just needs to drop a little bit before I start welding these bits in here and, and then I'll clamp it on there and on there. I love this tool. No noise, no sparks. <laughs> and it's a clean cut, literally. My eyeballs couldn't do it straight enough. The one tool where you can't bugger it up, that's what I... It's true, but you can bugger the tool. This is my second one. I broke the other one. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a Blake Builds without... A mistake. Yeah. Go on. So I've done it the wrong side. It should have been this side, obviously, Mr. Sampson. Should have been there. This isn't the first time this has happened. No, it's not. There was multiple mistakes on the van build. If you haven't seen it, I built a van, a camper van. I converted a panel van into, I would say, the ultimate mountain bike van for me. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now. Now. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at the state of it. It's a wheelbarrow now. <laughs> looks good. It does look good, doesn't it? It looks good. It looks incredible. Symmetrical. Yeah. Everything. They're all done by eyeballs. So after thinking to make it easy and quick, I'm gonna use these. And if they don't work, then I will mock up some U-bolts and then bolt them together. Because I think that is the strongest way, but I'm sure this will be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. What if this doesn't work? Well, if this does, oh, what the actual whole project, yeah. if it doesn't work, you're laughing stock. People will be saying, I told you so. Maybe people will never see this video. People probably will not see this video. This will not see the light of day. Fapanek, like, that is brilliant. <sighs> if I say so myself. Oh my gosh. That is brilliant. It works. It works. Let me clamp the other side. Let's get a try. Let's go try it. And never loop out ever in my entire life. <laughs> be weird if it's too low and I can't actually manual it. <laughs> Nick, can you manual? Mm, kind of, yeah, you can... are going to after today! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go and snap it. Let's go. Where's my helmet? Oh, is it scary? It's scary. She's not straight, but she's true. Let's test it. It feels weird because at that point is where I want to hit the brake. And when I hit the brake, I don't use it. So I'm going to go death grip and then just loop out and see if I can actually roll on that.
Okay, <laughs> first act. It works, it stops you from looping out, which is the perfect thing. I haven't gone over the, button, over the back and turned blue. But one thing is that when two wheels are down on the floor and I'm trying to rely on it, like stay on it and go down the road, it actually pulls you. You can't actually steer with it. So something here that can actually move around would be good because that means you can, if you're leaning to the right, you can actually turn and this will actually turn as well. So it works, it's strong, it hasn't bent. It's actually all right. I'm gonna keep playing with it. Now, if you want to just learn and let it stop you from looping out, this is perfect. This is the answer, because you're learning it in motion. But I was trying to rely of just riding on this, having the two wheels just like, ah, oh, sat back, relaxed, like I'm on a Sunday chair thing. Anyway, you can't really do that. I spent like two hours trying to do that. And because this is fixed and this is fixed, you have no way of making it navigate down the trail or down on the road. Having something here that's a bit like a fishtail so you can actually manipulate it would be key. So that's probably the one thing I would change there. But apart from that, it looks incredible. It's silly. I love it. Hopefully you've loved it. And uh, if you want to see more of these crazy things, let us know in the comments down below. I love building things. Maybe say build something and I probably will build it. This is going to go on the wall in the office at GMBN headquarters. I'll see you next time. See ya. Cup of tea, Nick. Cup of tea.